Hello ladies and gentlemen. After yesterday's debacle with pizza making, I'm on my way to something I think I can be a little more successful with, which is the uh, smoking of some ribs. Now these are um, country style ribs that I got over at our uh, local little meat market called Grand Zines in the Brunfels. And they were like $1.69 a pound on special. And so I'm going to try uh, throwing them into the smoker today and getting them uh, nice and juicy and uh, tender because that's the way we like them here and uh, see if we can get that going, okay? By the way, here's my faithful sous chef uh, on the job, just waiting and raring to go and uh, always assisting, always being there and uh, making sure everything goes okay. All right, we got the uh, smoker here going. We're gonna get it uh, fired up in a second. And uh, I got the water pan in, so we're gonna hit this with a little torch and see if it works here. Okay, I guess that's enough to get it going and uh, it'll start spreading. I'll come back in about a half an hour. I got to go out and get a bag of logs and bring them in here so we have something here to throw on this fire once these coals get really hot. Okay, see you. Just in case everybody's wondering where I get my wood, uh, I usually buy it in these bags. They're called, uh, this is Western Oak. I happen to have pecan and uh, hickory in the uh, garage. I keep them in the garage. It's always hot and dry here, and it's like 98 degrees in this dry heat, so I'm not. Pr I don't have a problem in keeping wood uh, ready to go. Um, these are 9.95 a bag for one and a half cubic feet of logs. A bag will last me if I use it four times a month. I get four cooks out of the entire bag. It, it really doesn't take that much to run uh, the yoder. So uh, once I establish a bed of uh, coals, they just go in and they flame up right away. Like I said, it's pretty hot here. Uh, we got a little bit of wind going today, and which we have every day, and uh, it's hot and dry. It must be about 95 degrees already, and it's 11 o'clock, so there we go. Okay, I put away a few splits over here. Um, got a, took some of the little tiny ones and put them up here to get the uh, some heat on them and the fire is already smoldering away and uh, I see the dial on the odor is starting to climb. So uh, it'll be about 45 minutes and we'll be ready to put the ribs on. See ya. Okay, I put the, uh, the ribs on. And here they are, if you can see through the smoke screen that I've created. And um, there's my water bucket. And uh, here they go. Got the fire going, got some smoke. Um, temperature is about 215, something 210 maybe. I don't know if you can see that. Let this little thing focus in. It's not as good as the bigger ones, but uh, gets the job done. And I gotta now adjust the, uh, the airflow. I still got this thing open just a tad, and I'm gonna shut it down now and monitor it so that I can. Um, Control the flow of air and heat into that unit. I like to keep it real low today if I can. All right, just came back to look. I got it at 225. I closed the damper down to about 50%. I just like to see if I could hold it here at 225 for the rest of the cook and see if how that makes a nice difference or not. Okay, we'll touch base with you in a while. Bye bye. Okay, here I am again. It's been a, almost an hour later and I'm still burning a roughly around 225 really good smoking pretty good over here I like it nice uh, nice draft going through the machine and uh, hopefully I'm just going to leave it here I'm not gonna, not even going to touch the uh, I'm not even going to touch it to look at it and see how it's doing I don't even want to open it up want to leave it alone okay here we are smoking the country style ribs I'm excited because I love them and it smells 
smells delicious. And it's nice and sunny here in Texas. A little bit warm, but uh, good for Labor Day weekend. Okay. Let me see it. Here's my sous chef. Relaxing in the shade, just getting everything ready to go. Okay, um, this was a different kind of video because uh, um, I really didn't record the back half of the cook. Uh, I just brought the ribs in and we sat them uh, in the container and waited for dinner to be served and then I opened them up and uh, we took a look and they were good. They were nice and juicy and tasty and we had some friends over and they enjoyed them as well. I had to have them back over again because uh, we invited them for pizza last night and then the pizza went to, was a disaster so all we did was drink margaritas and uh, eat the toppings off the pizza because the pizza was good but this is about ribs so in that way in shape uh, the ribs were very very tasty and moist and juicy and just with fork tender and that's the way I wanted them, and they finally, you know, it's nice to work on something that uh, you can accomplish and uh, make uh, come out good so that people do enjoy it. I guess that's the purpose of barbecue, is uh, being a barbecue cooker, you, your enjoyment comes on how well received your product is to the guests and the family you're cooking for. So that's it. Uh, all right, so. Uh, this is the end, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Uh, we're going to try to do a brisket. Uh, uh, it's actually a half a brisket coming up on uh, Sunday night to Monday. So we'll uh, have the brisket uh, for dinner on Monday evening and that kind of thing. So I expect the brisket to take about eight to ten hours because it's very small. It's about three to four pounds. And, We'll go from there and, and try it out and see. And that one's going to be made in the pellet smoker. So that's going to be the easiest cook of all. Just turn it on, set the temp, make sure you got plenty of pellets, and let it go until it hits internal temperature that you're looking for. All right. This is it. Have uh, a wonderful evening. Have a lot of wonderful cooks. And may all your cooks be happy ones. Bye-bye now.